the screen share for a hot second. Let me get my let me get myself together here. All right. First off, we want to say thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all so very much for coming to this program. So this is a pilot program that your directors have put together for y'all. And we are just so excited about it. So we've called it STEP, all right? And our director, Ruthie Hansen, is the one, because we were, we were like trying to figure out what are we going to call this? What are we going to name it? All these things. And Ruthie and her genius self, she came up with STEP as an acronym. So Ruthie, if you don't mind, I'm, I'm throwing you out here for a hot second. Will you tell everybody what STEP stands for? Sure, sure. So if you've been in the group, you saw the cover banner, but STEP stands for show up, because you got to show up, right, to have a business, train, enjoy, and prosper. And so we tried to take it from sort of the beginning to not the end, but to a result. So yeah, so that's what it means. Absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing that. And she came up with the graphic and everything. And I think you can all agree that it is fantastic. And our desire for each and every one of you is that you work through each week through this program with us, stick with it, because we know big things can happen. And so with this week being about show up, we're going to talk to you for a few minutes about how to show up more on social media. If you have ever been in the position or if you're in it right now where you're like, I'm just not getting the likes. I'm just not getting the views. I don't know how to get people to comment on stuff that I'm saying and doing and whatnot. Then we're going to teach you a method that you are going to do for seven days. All right. It's a one week thing and you're going to schedule each thing and everything is very um it's very much so on purpose what we're about to show you all right i did a training um this weekend with some folks and showed this to them and they were like oh my word and kim went to a retreat where this was taught and so we believe in this training very much so we're going to share this with you now all about how to ramp up your social media presence to get the followers, to get the um, comments, to get the everything. All right. So let me start this here. So we're going to talk about for a moment a social media seven day plan. All right. So again, this is going to be seven days. And what you're going to need to do is you are going to need to schedule each day in your calendar with A-L-E-X-A, -E with S-I-R-I. -I. I don't want to say any of those things in case yours wakes up. I don't want to do that. So calendar, everything. You've got to schedule this stuff in, all right? And it's going to produce some amazing results. So if you want more engagement, if you want to be seen a little bit more, but you're finding that you're just not getting the feedback. You're just not being seen, basically. We're going to teach you how to do just that, okay? We don't want to leave anything up to chance, right? We don't want to just throw a post out there and hope and pray that somebody comments, that somebody sees it, right? And we're going to teach you that hope is not a strategy because it's really not. Not Throwing a post that, well, I hope I get some buttons from that. No, it's not going to happen. You have to be very meticulous. You have to schedule things and you have to be intentional on your plan, but you need a plan, all right? So we're going to teach you about this plan. So you might want to take screenshots of these so that you do not forget any of this stuff, all right? So you are going to schedule each day in advance. And what I highly recommend doing is taking a piece of paper and doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever day you're gonna start it, which is most likely tomorrow. So on Tuesday, so Tuesday through Tuesday, right? And you're gonna think it out, have a plan of action as far as what do I really want to focus on? What is my 
focus going to be? Is it going to be new products? Is it going to be new recipes? Like, what am I going to be really thinking about? All right. And you're going to have something scheduled for 9 a.m., 12 p.m., 3 p.m., and 9 p.m. Now, that doesn't mean that on 9 a.m., 3 p.m., and 9 p.m., you have to be written on ready with your phone or your computer to schedule something. That's not it at all. All right. But you are going to Facebook scheduler, post my party, whatever, for those other things. But we're going to talk about them each individually. So the very first one at 9 a.m., your time zone, all right? You can post something. Oh, and make sure, by the way, that your posts are public so that they can be shared and seen by everybody, everybody, okay? So 9 a.m. is your first post. <laughs> so you want to have a motivational quote. Let's say you're going through a motivational book or you saw a meme on Facebook, or uh, your devotion for that day was really empowering and there was a particular scripture that spoke to you, make sure you post that. A finance tip, I love this. If you follow Dave Ramsey, um, maybe post something of his or John Gordon, post something there. A funny joke, a dad joke, mom joke, whatever, a life hack. If you know a way to get, um, let's say you know a way to, clean out the drains using some all natural mess or whatever. Share stuff like that. A life hack, a cleaning hack, whatever. Something of value. Make it shareable, so make it public, but have a call to action. And when we say have a call to action, that means asking a question at the end to evoke a response. So you could ask somebody, Hey, what is your best mom tip of the day? What's your best finance tip of the day? Post below, something like that. But make sure at the end of each one, you have a call to action and that it is shareable, all right? Number two, it's going to be at noon your time. Go live. And it doesn't have to be a long drawn out thing. If you work full time away from the home, Make sure you have just a little something like go to your car, go to your um, break room or whatever, and just do three minutes of a little something, all right? Maybe talk about what you're going to prepare for supper that night. Show the recipe. I can't wait. I'm going to go to the store, blah, 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 blah. Maybe go live while you're setting up some parties and show how quick and efficient your job is. Teach them something, all right? Anything. Teach them how to make a PB&J with... The, um, the scooping spread, right? Whatever the heck that thing is. Janie loves it. Make sure you talk about um, what you're going to have for supper or maybe you are going to prep lunch at work using the make and take mason jar and you're doing a salad or whatever. Talk about that. Show those things and chat about it live. Three minutes or less, fast, easy, nobody gets hurt, all right? Again, make it public but have a call to action at the end. Ask everybody, what are you having for lunch today? What's your idea for supper tonight, okay? Number three, be relatable. Make sure you are relatable. So at 3 p.m., have something posted that is maybe something that you, or someone that you look up to, all right? I love the John Maxwell stuff. I love John Gordon. I could post about his stuff all the time. Who are your favorite motivational people? Or... Just post anything, anything that's related to what's going on with you. Maybe you're in the pickup line at school. Maybe you're going to your favorite bakery and having a cup of coffee and working from there. And you can post a picture of yourself working from the bakery with a nice cup of coffee. Maybe you're having coffee with a friend and you're like, thanks to my Pamper Chef business, I'm able to do this. Yay! Something, anything, but post at 3 p.m., all right? Make sure it is public and have a call to action at the end. And the last one, 9 p.m., your time zone again. This is going to be something a little more touchy-feely, a little more relatable to you and why you do what you do. Why are you with Pampered Chef? Why did you choose this route? Has it given you friendships? Did it give you a community to belong to? What has it done for you? And right now it's super easy to do this because we all have that little um, incentive that they're talking about and challenge to do the say yes to PC challenge or whatever. 
Maybe uh, you're doing that and that's your 9 p.m. post, all right? Maybe you've been able to pay off debt. You went on a vacation. Whatever it is that this business has allowed you to do, share that each night at 9 p.m. And again, make it public so that it's shareable and have a call to action. You could easily ask if you were to bring in $500 extra a month, what would you do with it? Or you could say that little perks post, um, the pampered perks, you could be like, if, if you were to earn some of these perks, which would be your favorite, right? What did Pamper Check do for you? Make sure that's what you're posting. And again, have a call to action. What is a call to action? It is something you would like people to see that are seeing your post do. It is not, if you'd like for more information, let me know. No, that is not a call to action. Mm -mm. Who wants freebies? That's not a call to action either. <laughs> it could be simple as asking them to post a fun gift, which actually boosts your algorithms instead of an emoji. Ask them to post a gift or a meme or a picture or something. Ask them to tag friends um, who might need the life hack that you posted, but always ask them to share the post. Don't uh, hesitate in doing that. Don't hesitate to ask for what you want, all right? I love this. Be you. Don't worry about trying to make your reels or posts or anything just like someone else's. Don't ask them for their words. You use your words because you are unique and people will identify with you when you are being your true self. And the way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing it. <laughs> I love this quote because we don't want you just being willy nilly. Well, I'm going to wait until I know that I can really devote some time to the. No, you're going to start tomorrow. You're going to dive right in and jump in and get the hang of it and get this thing rocking and rolling. That's what you got to do. But next thing is that we want to talk about real quick is how this is really going to affect you. Now, all during the week, we are going to have, oops, hang on. I don't think you can see me, but can y'all see me? No. no. I didn't think so. And somehow my, my uh, thing got turned off my camera. But anyway, what we're going to do is all throughout the week, we're going to be sharing um, some mm -hmm. ideas and things that you can be posting. And so make sure that you stay tuned to the group, all right? Because that's where we're going to be posting stuff for you all week. Ideas of motivational posts, ideas of life hacks or whatever it may be. We're going to be filling that group full of things that you can use, all right? But in doing this, you're going to be seeing more. People are going to be identifying with you. They're going to be talking to you. And you might find that some people might be interested in doing what you do. And so we're going to have Kim talk for a few moments about how this could affect you money-wise. Because don't we all want to earn a little bit of extra money? We could all use a little bit of extra money, I think. I don't know about y'all, but I know I could. All right. So... How many of you have seen our career plan chart? Um, if you haven't seen it, be sure to take a screenshot. Um, I am posting these. Uh, they will post in our Facebook group, so you'll have these to refer back to. But um, really, this business, like any business, is about growing to your full potential. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. So I'll have Christina go on to the, let's see, can I do it or do you have to do it for me? Oh, you have to do it for me. So we're <laughs> going to talk a little bit about team leader. So um, the career plan set up with the company is consultant, senior consultant, and team leader. We know most of you guys have been in business for a while and may have recruited people already. So we're going to focus on team leader and I want to share some benefits with you about it. So if you didn't know the monthly requirements to be paid as a team leader are two active lines, which means that you have at least two people on your team that have submitted a minimum of $150 each. Um, you 
as the team leader, have to have submitted at least $750 in personal sales, and your team has to have a total of $2,500 in team sales. And that does include you. So you and two more people, it, that's the minimum. So what are the benefits? Bonuses and overrides. 2% on your personal sales, 2% on your personal team recruits, 1% override on indirect team members. So what that means is if you have a team member and they recruit someone, you'll get a 1% override on those folks. Um, a $50 Pampered Chef recruiting bonus for each new person that you bring into your team that submits $12.50 in their first 30 days. You guys, that adds up very quickly, especially when we're um, working towards conference now to pay for you know, conference um, things. $500 paid as points for trip incentives. How many of you would love to travel in 2024 with Pampered Chef? Um, this is the way to do it, is to earn those paid as points for trips and they start at team leader. All right, we'll go to the next one. So how does this impact you? You know, you're growing your personal business and impacting other people's lives. Think about who invited you into Paper Chat. Would you be in this group today if someone hadn't invited you? The answer is no. The people you see before you are in your life now for a reason, and you have to believe it. You have to believe that you're in this place, in this time, for a reason. There are people who need this business, and there are people that need you too. Came across two quotes today that I wanted to pop in here as well. Um, this one's by Henry Ford. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is a process. And working together is success. So that's what we're trying to achieve. Also, I love this scripture. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. And that's what we're doing. Working as a team, building each other's up building each other up. Let's look at the financial impact. We know that 99.9% .9 of people who join a pampered chef business join for the potential income that can be made. Of course, we have tons of perks, free products, all that good stuff, but it's really the income that can change your financial future for your family. So as a consultant, we're going to show you some real examples here of how this can impact you as a team leader. So as a consultant, let's say you sell $2,500 in a month. If you're growing towards um, building um, a team, that needs to be your first target is $2,500 a month. And you can so do that with two shows a week and a program a month. And a program a month can be a share rewards a mystery host party, a pay your age, something fun to infuse into your business along with your show schedule. So your commission on $2,500 is 24%. And that's what I've used for this example. Now, if you've been with the business um, for, fit bar for um, a few years or a year or more, um, you may already have reached 15,000 in career sales. And if you have, you're making that 2% override. So you would actually be earning 26 instead of 24, okay? So based on 24%, your paycheck on 2,500 in sales is $600. That is a lot of money. A lot of money, right? $600 a month. That could make you know, a house payment or part of rent. It could be a car payment. It could be grocery bills. It could be energy costs could be anything. As a team leader, you sell $2,500 a month. Your commission is $600 at 24%. But let's say you share your business and you add two new team members in March. And we are going to work with your new team members to help them submit $1,250 in their first 30 days. Because we know what they're getting in their first 30 days, right? Shout it out and type in the chat. What is it? That stand mixer. Okay, so let's say your total team sells 5,000. You're selling 2,500. You have two team members 
that are doing 1250 each, boom, 5,000. You're gonna earn an extra $100 because that is a 2% override on your team sales, just for sharing the business opportunity. As a team leader, your paycheck is now 700 instead of 600. You also have earned 100 PC dollars because both of your team members have sold 1250 in their first 30 days. And you've also earned 500 paid as points towards the next incentive trip. This can happen April 1st in just a few weeks. Yes. Oh, my word. Yes. Y'all, I do love a good paycheck. I love some incentives. <laughs> I love all of this stuff. It just gets me so excited. So I love that Kim was sharing how to break this all down money-wise because you may not have started for the money, but y'all, who's going to turn down $700? Who's, who's going to turn down that kind of money? We could all use a little bit of extra money, right? So our focus and our goal with this program is to help you move forward, to help you grow to the next steps, whatever that may be, to help you have fun in your business again, to learn some fun new things, to apply to your business so that you are moving forward and growing, okay? And our goal is for you to welcome two new team members this month with that amazing incentive that we have of the 25% discount on any one of those kits it is going to be fun to reach out to people and say, I have a coupon code. I have a coupon code. People love a coupon code, y'all. We could say all the kits are 25% off, but you tell people you have an exclusive coupon code to give them, that is so exciting, all right? We're gonna give you the opportunity this month to talk to people and get some fun new team members on your team because by focusing on this and focusing on what we're going to teach you over the next four weeks, you will naturally be moving toward, if you're not already there, a team leader position or re-promoting yourself to a team leader position. All right. So that's going to be our focus for you. So this week, you are going to find some stuff posted in the group. You're going to find a Reels training video by Ruthie. It's going to be awesome. It's actually going to be there in just a few minutes. So if you're not on my team, you're going to see that posted in the group in just a few minutes. And so my team will see that after the team training, after the team training, after the team training, let me say it again, after the team training, you will see that then, all right? And then our call to action for you for this week is to implement the seven-day plan starting tomorrow for social media. And we want you, as you're getting comments on the stuff that you're posting, when you start getting comments, we want you to share screenshots of the comments into the group page and then share screenshots of how you are reaching out to those people and how the conversation is going, all right? So when someone comments, you're gonna reach out. All right. So this, think, this is a system. When you get into this social media system, you are gonna organically grow your business. We don't want you to reach out to people and message 25 and 50 people a day, cold calls for bookings. How many of y'all hate that? You hate it because it doesn't work. Let's be honest, all right? When you grow your social media, you are going to organically be reaching out because people are going to be commenting. They're going to say, oh my gosh, I don't have a stand mixer. I would love one of those. Well, let me show you how to get one at 60% off this month. It's organic. That is our goal for you uh, is to have an organically growing business. The last thing I'll mention, I know we got just two minutes left is this. And I want to mention your um, social media platforms. There is Facebook. There is Instagram. There is the TikTok. There is, <laughs> there's so many things. Start where you are and add. The other thing is this. You cannot grow your social media if you are locked in on private. You have to be public. The other thing is you really have to look at your Facebook friends and you want to grow your followers on Instagram. If you have less than 500 friends on Facebook, you are trying to grow your business in a puddle, okay? We want you to go from a puddle to a pool to a pond to a lake 
to an ocean, 500 to 1,000 to 1,500 to 2,000. It takes you reaching out and friend requesting people. Don't be afraid to do it. And if you need help with words to say, that's why we want you to put those screenshots in our group because we will help you. You've got a leadership team on here that is vested in helping you grow. Absolutely, 100%. And we are so proud of y'all for jumping on for call number one. We cannot wait to see what happens this week. Don't hesitate to let us know if you have questions or need help. All right. Good night, good everybody. Good